the perfect wedding gifts for this wedding season. Welcome back to Bright Society. I'm Rebecca, this is Laura, and as she said, we are talking wedding gifts. So whether it be that you are looking for the perfect gift to give to the happy couple this season, or maybe you are the happy couple and you're looking for some additional things to add to your gift registry. Um, yeah, various kind of price points, or maybe even the couple have a gift registry of when you're going to, and you pick something off there, but you just want to get something a little extra, like a special personal thing. Um, so we're here to kind of like inspire you with lots of ideas. So everything we're talking about, you can find on our dedicated Pinterest board, which we'll have linked down below, um, and probably some more pictures on there as well. So go and check that out. And anything we talk about, we'll also have linked um, in the description box. So if you want to go and find and buy something maybe, hopefully, if we've inspired you well enough in this video, uh, you can find all those details in the description box. So, first of all, we're going to start with a card. It's simple, You'll, even if you're not getting a gift because a couple haven't asked for anything or have said no gifts or you've already got something off the registry, you or might... Or you're giving money. Or you're giving inside. money, yeah. Um, you might still want to get them a card. but. Why just go and pick up a generic wedding card off the shelf? Personalised cards are where it's at. Something Because a lot of people, and I have, and I think you may have done, kept your wedding cards after the wedding. Yeah. Um, there's something like keepsakes. Um, so if you've got a particular special card, this is the time to kind of invest in one. Um, yeah. yeah, so you can add the wedding date, names, just a couple's names, lots of different variations. Showing you a couple of examples here. Um, but yes, I think it just really adds that extra touch when you kind of go to the effort with the card. Yeah, it does. And actually, when I was looking into these, I think cards in shops just for weddings, I've gotten pretty expensive now as it is on the whole. And actually, it wasn't that much difference in price to kind of go and get a fully personalised one, which would mean even more, right? And yeah, so at that point, it's like, oh, this is the way, this could be the way forward, yeah. like doing it this way around. But anyway. Um, yes, and then on the kind of keepsake route, um, you could get uh, them like a keepsake box. So these come in different shapes and forms. I'm showing you a couple of like different ideas popping up here. Um, but yeah, just keep things, those kind of special mementos in from the day for them or for you, depending. Say so whether you're adding it to your registry or getting it as a gift. Um, but yeah, whether it's your cards that go in there, like a little bit of your confetti, like just, yeah, just the little kind of key memories just kind of open and have to treasure. And again, along this keepsake line, um, preserving bouquets are a huge trend now in weddings and it's a really great way to as kind of keep something that you have spent a lot of money on, potentially. Um, again, brings the memories back and there's lots of different ways you can preserve a bouquet, but if you are, either putting this on your registry or looking to get a special gift for someone, you can maybe give the couple a voucher to get their um, flowers preserved, maybe in like this pressed flower frame. So when the photos come back as well, they've got a beautiful wedding photo from the day inside a frame that's actually of their wedding flowers. So you couldn't get any more personal than that, really. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really lovely. Mm. Yeah, and thoughtful, that's yeah. the thing. That's the key. <laughs> that is the key to gifting. <laughs> Um, yeah, and well, so what are the other problems with gifting away from a gift registry is the problem that so you might end up giving something that they end up with four versions of, so like four heart-shaped photo frames, for example. Um, and obviously, so you might be sitting there going, oh, how do I avoid doing that? Um, so one solution to that is to particularly if you, you just want it to be sort of an add-on or something, or they don't want gifts per se, um, you could get them something like usable or consumable. Um, so those things could kind of be like gift experiences, so they can have sort of a date sort of together as a couple, um, or yeah, just 
um, things that they can I say consume and or do at home. So you can get things um, like meal kits. Um, so if you know like their favourite restaurant, for example, so places like Dishoom and Cot, um, they both have meal kits that you can purchase off uh, their websites and they're sort of sent the ingredients to cook these kind of they have various ones sort of like steak dinner lobster like date night like ones that they can have sent to them um, or again if you don't quite know when they're going to be home when they want to have that stuff delivered you can again go down the voucher route for those things um, so it's all in lieu of this gift like this is what it's for and yeah so even if they had five of those over the years I'd have <laughs> five of those meals, you know. Happily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Safe bet. Yeah. Also along the consumable route, but slightly at a lower price point than maybe these meal kits, um, but something that would definitely be enjoyed, um, are these decorated biscuits. So again, they can be personalised, um, but they come through the post and are delicious. Yes. 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 And beautiful yeah. as well. Really like, beautiful. impressively beautiful. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you want just a little gift to go along with a card or as, as something personal to go along with a gift that you've picked off the registry, mm. you couldn't go wrong with these. Yeah, but, but really, if, if they're not a couple that's not going to like this kind of, like like that. I mean, I think worth knowing. Yeah. I just <laughs> um, so a kind of another uh, like quite thoughtful route to go down is if so you know where they're going on honeymoon. And then maybe connecting the gift to that in some way. So you could get something. So say they went to Asia, perhaps you could get them like a sushi making kit um, for their returns. Then kind of keep a little bit of honeymoon with them. But yeah, so obviously that's quite a specific honeymoon thing, um, like to that kind of location. But if you try and yeah think along those lines of like what could be connected to the place that they have gone and been to to kind of keep that with them. That's a really nice idea. Um, and on honeymoons, luggage tags, um, personalised ones we would recommend. <laughs> As with all, all the things. The <laughs> Again, it's just something small and it's not the end of the world if they've never already got luggage tags, but the luggage tags they've already got are probably quite boring. So some nice personalised luggage tags. They can easily spot their luggage as they're arriving on, at their honeymoon destination. Yeah, just a little token, thoughtful gift. Yeah, makes you feel a bit, that bit extra special going on honeymoon too. <laughs> and you just, I think when you're walking around on honeymoon, or like through the airport, you, you kind of, there's probably the ones everyone to know you're going on honeymoon. <laughs> so if you're not, or if they're not already wearing like the big like loungewear sweaters that say like wife or yeah. whatever across. <laughs> to give it away <laughs> maybe they want something slightly more subtle but kind of want people to notice I think this is, this is a good choice <laughs> so once they get back from honeymoon and they've now got these new rings on their fingers you could get them like a personalised sort of trinket dish um, so when they need to take their rings off for showering or whatever that they've got somewhere like really special just to kind of pop them down um, while they're in my husband's case takes it off when he's putting his hair product in okay. he's had a <laughs> has left it in a hotel room before and left. Um, he got it back, it's okay, the story ended well. But yeah, but in the house now he has, I, yeah, there's a trinket dish to put it in, <laughs> so you always know where it is, <laughs> if it's not on his finger. But uh, yeah, but some, yeah, something special, just kind of like, it's just a sweet thing. Um, and you'll know the couple um, and their likes and dislikes, so if you know they're maybe particular into like staying in, having date nights in, or a particular kind of movie nights, things like that, you could go along the lines of these really fun, um, almost like date night boards where they've got compartments to fill with like favorite foods, or maybe if it's a movie night one with like bit popcorn and drinks and bits and bobs. There's, uh, we like this one, main well, because of the contents, but also because of the name, um, called Couch Bar, so, they're back from honeymoon, they've been super busy planning a wedding, had a full honeymoon, got back, you just want to relax on the couch, chocolates, drinks, place for the remote. I mean, it's a fun gift, it's personalised with the names. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, 
it's a fun, thoughtful gift that was also tailored to the couple as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's the same with this kind of like brunch board too. Like, you know, the big brunches or you want to kind of give them that breakfast in bed, like just to build on like the romance, like mm -hmm. from the wedding and, and things like that. I love that idea too. Or, there's, or if you think they're going to be like, like if they're kind of entertaining that people like they have people over a lot, like then it's a similar kind of thing, but it's like a tapas board as well. So yeah, just kind of helping them. Yeah, it's all just part of that, but building their married life and, and just going to be used in their future, but it's, it's personalised with their names and yeah, just, I think it's, I, I was, I, I was enjoying them, so <laughs> that's why they're on here. And if you know that they like to host, um, something quite classic that may appear on some gift registers mm -hmm. already, but it might not um, be on this particular couple's registry, but you know that there may be big kind of party hosts or um, like champagne drinkers, some really fancy champagne flutes. And it's something that if you did happen to have duplicates of, it doesn't really matter because you can use them. If you have people over, it's useful to have more than two champagne flutes if you're serving champagne. Um, so yeah, I think although that's maybe more of a traditional gift, it fits well on this um, list as well because it's personal to the couple if they're big, as I say, big hosts, big drinkers, um, and is useful. Yeah, and the same exact same principle applies to these like personalised bottle stoppers, because um, you may well have more than one bottle open at a time. <laughs> um, so again, if there was multiple of them, it's not a big deal. Um, and this is very much obviously yeah, just one of these like add-on gifts, it's a little a little kind of token gift. Um, but again, just kind of thoughtful, particularly if you know that that's something that they're into. But yeah, you can get all these things beautifully personalised. I mean, and if you just going down the route of wanting to gift them maybe a bottle of champagne as a token or just as a as a celebratory little gift as part of the wedding, um, just elevate it slightly. You can get personalised boxes for the champagne to come in, or even have an engraved bottle with their names on, and maybe specify that, oh, open this bottle on your first anniversary. So it's not just another bottle of fizzy wine. It's something that on their first anniversary, they're actually taking the time to sit down, think about their wedding. And it, again, on the same thing, we're really leaning into the wine thing, but <laughs> so cause it, it's not a sort of celebratory things. Um, so obviously they can grab a bottle of wine and a couple of glasses and have a nice evening but we are suggesting that that whole thing gets elevated with a completely unnecessary but item that's just nice to have um with one of these sort of um serving planks i guess you would call it um so again it's engraved it's monogrammed with their names or whatever design um but has those like cutouts that you can put like the stems of the wine glasses in and the um to, and then put it over the bottle to carry in so it's all together and served like that. So that can be in one hand Yeah, and your you board can. of like, your couch bar can be in yes. your other hand. Sorted. Perfect evening. I don't even drink and I'm into <laughs> this idea. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, moving on to decor and artwork potentially. So Obviously, everybody has different tastes. And yeah. It can be quite tricky yeah, buying art for trickier. somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this category is definitely more if you know their taste quite well. Yes. Or you're putting this on your gift registry as a... Yes. Gift yes. yes. Um, but something like a personalised artwork of maybe your wedding venue in an illustrative style yeah. or whatever style works and you prefer. Um, or some, like, some type that's the wedding date. Just as a reminder of... It's a big day, your wedding day. It's kind of a momentous occasion. So it's a reminder of that and it's something you can have out in the home um, that you can just enjoy and as a reminder of the wedding. Mm. You could even take it as far as this kind of neon sign of your new married name if you've taken on a new name. So if you've been enjoying this kind of current trend of neon signs, maybe you've had some at, or going to have some at your wedding, um, so maybe this will kind of be a nice reflection of that then around your home afterwards if you have this on your registry where you can have this kind of neon sign in your house, maybe like sort of above your bed or something. It might be 
weird like in your uh, in some like in your kitchen i don't know maybe that's know, kind know, of edgy <laughs> enough for the score or just yeah yeah i'm anyway, sure house you can put your yeah. name on it <laughs> you're just celebrating who you are yeah <laughs> a welcome mat a very functional item that a lot of people overlook but why not have something personalized with your new name on and say if, if you've got a new married name um and then it's just a reminder to the world as people enter your home that you are this new married couple. Yeah. Yeah, it's an exciting time. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. So I think, is that all our kind of ideas for yeah. today? Like, yeah, obviously there's so many things <laughs> out there. Um, and as we said before, we have got a Pinterest board that supports this video, so everything you've seen popping up can all be found there. But there's also the product links in the description box below if you want to pick anything off this list but hopefully you like this, something on there and you're feeling inspired or it sort of sparked a bit of inspiration for what you now want to go and get where we relieve that wedding stress either as the guest or as the person picking um but yeah we hope you enjoy the video if you did if you could please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe because we put out new content every friday and we wouldn't want you to miss it <laughs>